Agriculture is a series of progressions. If something happens in the East Coast, it directly affects me. We've been doing this going on seven years now. That was true wake-up call to not mess around. This is the Bible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Colin Barraclow at Kersop Farm in Tumwater, Washington. So we are primarily an organic vegetable farm and about five years ago we decided to try to diversify a little bit and started growing the pasture poultry. We're at about half capacity for the permit. We do about 500. Because we're a vegetable farm, we're trying to work the pasturing into the vegetable rotations. Another big part of this, since we do vegetables and poultry, is the food safety stuff. <coughs> I have a special pair of boots that lives in this bucket. Oh, wow. So when I come out to do my chores, I change mm -hmm. into the special boots right here and then go out and do a thing and then change back into other shoes <laughs> for going anywhere else. So the baby babies are in this room and I have a special pair of shoes that if I'm going to step in there, as much for the food safety of everything else as for the babies to not bring in, you know, pathogens from the other birds into them. We put 80 birds in here and move them every day. These move pretty easily. I think that one's already propped up on, with a little dolly and a stick, and then... So, they move 12 feet, and it's not too hard. So this is the Mason County equipment, which was the first version, so it's um, the least high-tech of the bunch, because we were the first folks to get it. But this equipment is pretty slick. It fits in the back of my... The, I don't know if you saw the little white pickup on your way in here. That's uh, one of my work rigs. And even with the toolbox in the back, both of these fit in just perfectly. So this scalder um, normally is hooked up to a propane tank. So you go to pile it, push it down, and then I let go and turn it to on. Um, as long as you see that pilot light is actually staying lit and then the burner will go whoosh and light up and then you know you're good. And then with the thermostat it will heat it up until it's at whatever it is. For chickens it's usually about 145, 147. Um, ducks it's a little more. Turkeys is about the same as the chickens. And then it will turn itself off until it gets low enough to turn itself back on. So you have that nice constant scalding temperature. We started working with the head of food safety, Claudia Coles. She was very cooperative. So we uh, applied for a grant through WSDA, and we got uh, just a little over 27,000 to design and build this unit. Once this thing is fired up, that back end can do four chickens in less than a minute. And then we slip it through the window for the eviscerators. I do four chickens at a time, and so we're always doing batches of four. And so what you see behind you here are killing cones and a rack. And then it goes right into the plucker, which takes about 15 seconds to do four chickens. And then from the plucker, these uh, bear birds go into a, a bus tub, and then whoever's eviscerating in there uh, takes them out of the bus tub. It takes potable water, and the water hookup is on the side right there. So you need to have eight water tests for bacteria. Then the next table through the window there is a, our evisceration table. And then uh, at the quality control table is a tad bit slower than evisceration. Uh, it's all farmer run. No person comes with this unit. So they pick it up. They have the expense of picking it up, usually in Colville or Chewila. And uh, they transport it to their farm. They provide the labor. Then they bring it back to where they picked it up. You need a food uh, processing license. And we've set that up so it's absolutely a piece of cake. Originally, the tour was going to come to my farm. And if you had done that, I think you'd be surprised at how little is there. We've got some chicken pens, um, lots of pasture. But really, you're looking at the infrastructure for our business, for the processing end of it. Um, were it not for this unit, we would not be processing, obviously. We, we were the first users of this, and um, I think we were one of the first farms to be licensed in Stevens County. We work with a couple of friends, and we're able to run about 150 birds through in a short day. We're done by noon. We just believe that quality control is really your, your best risk management. We produce a really, really clean product. The licensing really is easy and the inspectors are wonderful to work with. We've loved working with them. They have lots of, lots, like I said, good, really good suggestions. Mm -hmm.